I'm at Tamarind Square. It's this place where it's very like rustic and industrial and there's a lot of plants. The good thing is the parking is free, so I don't have to pay for parking. It's literally like plants everywhere. So right off the bat, I can tell you that this place is really green and it's really nice to take pictures if you're into taking pictures. Otherwise, it's just nice to just chill um, among nature. There's also a lot of vacant shop lots. I wish they were more filled so there's more things to see. But one thing I found really interesting is there are cafes along the spiral staircase. So as you walk up, you get to see um, different cafes and even a hair salon. is freaking 24 hours so you can read and read all night long to do and I've been making an aimless round like no destination in mind and just like going around thank god I have a full tank of petrol so I've been rounding to see if there's any cool place to check out but mm, <laughs> there's none but it's also because Cyber Jaya is like the technology hub or I think they call it the multimedia corridor so that's why there's not a lot here the space is huge though and I found my way to the Taco Bell, the first and only Taco Bell in Malaysia. Taco Bell was my plan for lunch, but I had very late brunch, so I'm really full. Uh, I don't think I can make space for Taco Bell today. Maybe it's for another day, but I saw the queue and the queue is long. Oh my god. <laughs> like, why are people so obsessed with Taco Bell? So now I'm gonna continue driving around. As I was driving around, I found this place that looks potentially cool. It's called Third Avenue. Um, I think this is like a, a condominium complex with like shops at the bottom. Although there's a lot of nice spots to take pictures, one thing it's lacking of is place to sit, like random place to sit. So right now I'm just at like this staircase because I want to drink my ice matcha latte. Oh my god, it's so good. And also I got myself a cookie. I was recommended to try their cookie. This is how it looks like. There's sea salt on it. Too sweet. 
it's a bit salty from the sea salt but it's also a little bit bitter it is currently 4 30 and i've arrived at the cyber jaya lake site and i'm gonna cycle i saw there are many bicycles for rental so the goal is to not fall down because i haven't cycled in many many years but i can visualize cycling so i think i'll be good to use i just have to scan this and it has been unlocked So I've been cycling for approximately two minutes and so far so good. Uh, the start was a little bit rocky because um, I guess I just have to get used to balancing myself on the bicycle but other than that it was fine and since this is my first time trying out an electric bike I didn't know what to expect so initially when it sped up automatically it feels kind of scary because like usually I'm just used to pedaling if I want to be fast but this one I pretty much just have to like pedal once and then it goes zoop and then I just what what is it called I don't know and then you just let it uh, go I'm also getting used to the brake so I just have to brake a bit slower like gradually otherwise like the whole inertia will cause me to fall forward and we don't want that the view is really nice it's of the Putrajaya city I wish I could fall in love with you another day I'm missing a couple words that I should probably say There's no point in trying I'm sorry to cry I wish I could fall in love with you another day I don't it is 5 48 now and i just parked my bike thank god i came about 4 30 um, and it's not that hot because right now there's so many people. As I was parking, another person already chopped my bike. So thank god I didn't come at 6 as planned. So now I can go and have my dinner although I'm not very hungry. favorite Middle Eastern food um, and it's also one of the best sellers here at Sabah restaurant but now that it's here the lamb seems to be kind of less it comes with these two gravy but there's no like the yogurt that I usually like but hopefully it's as good as the reviews say it is and also coming from my friend who I really trust with Middle Eastern food so let's try this This is kind of disappointing considering this is like one of the best or most popular uh, Yemeni restaurant here in Cyber Jaya. Um, the lamb mandi that I'm used to is usually very tender. This is not tender at all and the gravy is kind of like so so. Nothing great, nothing to shout about. Um,
I'm back in my car. It is now 7 p.m. and I'm heading home. I'm kind of tired although I didn't do a lot today but I think it's just because it's very hot and I guess I'm tired from trying to figure out where to go. Uh, but anyway, the dinner was disappointing. So I texted my friend and told him that the restaurant that he okayed is actually not okay. And apparently he said that he has never been to the restaurant. He just heard his friends or whoever say that it's good so he told me it's good so he's Jordanian him and a Syrian friend of mine two very close friends of mine they were the ones who recommended me my favorite Halak Kiel Barami shawarma and that is awesome and up till this day that is my favorite shawarma ever so I trusted him enough when I asked him if this Saba restaurant was good and he said it's good but no, it ain't good. But anyway, I'm gonna head home now. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching this vlog as much as I enjoyed vlogging it. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more of Malaysia or travel vlogs in general.